this is how I play the game! People always complain no matter what I do. If I succeed in a game, they have to bitch about it because, God forbid, that I'm actually not terrible at a game and I actually, like, do well. Or, you know, especially a particularly difficult series like the Dark Souls franchise. How dare Phil be able to beat a Dark Souls game? It's not, you know, it's ridiculous. Uh, he's obviously terrible at games, so how dare he do that? You know, and all the usual bullshit you hear from the morons. Alright. So let's talk. First of all, in my original Dark Souls 2 run... I grinded a lot. 2014 run, I grinded a lot. If you actually watch, um, if you actually watch on the, uh, playthrough, you'll notice that there's giant jumps in my levels. <sighs> Some people were very angry by that, alright? Because they were like, that's not fair, Phil didn't play it legitimately, he grinded. Now, grinding in RPGs is a completely valid method. It's uh, completely allowed, there's no, there's no rule against it. In fact, it wouldn't exist in the game if you weren't supposed to do it, okay? Uh, what I actually did, I remember when I was playing, there's these items that you could use to kindle the bonfires that actually makes the enemies come back to life after you've killed them a certain amount of times, and they actually come back even more difficult, and they give you even more souls. So that's what I ended up doing in a lot of areas to gain massive souls and gain tons of levels overnight, all right? But as you know, you know, complaint, complaint, complaint. People didn't like that. They like, how dare Phil grind? Unacceptable that he would do that. You know, whatever. About halfway through my playthrough of Dark Souls 2, I discovered something. I discovered that the lightning spell, I think it's lightning spear, was incredibly overpowered. It seemed like this spell, it, you know, hit area of effect. It penetrated tons of enemy defenses. Uh, for whatever reason, it seemed like you could store a lot of these spells, right? And through my upgrading of my character through a certain skill tree, I was able to get my character insanely buff with these lightning spears. And so, pretty much my entire second half of the game ended up me just, you know, destroying the opposition with lightning spears. And then I eventually found the even better one, the great lightning spear, which made it even better. I mean, it was absolutely ridiculous how good this spell was. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. <sighs> I know a lot of people had issue with that. I get that. Um, especially if you're a Dark Souls purist and someone finds an abusive strategy to get through the game. So a lot of people, it was hilarious because at the time, three years ago, a lot of people said, oh, Phil never beat Dark Souls 2. He cheesed the game. He used an abusive strategy. <laughs> that's exactly how they sounded. Or at least that's how they sound to normal fucking people who don't care about that shit. So, yes, folks. That was my first run of Dark Souls 2. I completely destroyed the game, besides Ancient Dragon. Okay. Now, eventually I did buy the Season Pass, and all the different DLCs did release. And, if I actually remember correctly, okay, I did legitimately beat all the DLCs. The only one I did not beat was the one with ice. Because if I remember correctly, there's one area where you go outdoors, you're in this, this, this snow area, and there were infinitely regenerating wolves. And I would finally get to the area I was supposed to go to in this snow area. And then they had to fight more wolves. And I was so angry because I was like, this is the stupidest part of the whole fucking game. Nowhere in the game are there infinitely regenerating enemies anywhere except for right here. It's really dumb. And again, my build wasn't good for this particular area. And it, it f fucked me up or flipped me out or whatever. I just got so angry. And I said, fuck this. And I never, uh, I never went back to it. So there's one DLC in this game I never beat. So, there's a few things about my first run people didn't like. So, a few things. First of all, in this run of Scholar of the First Sin, the game is different. From what I'm to understand, in Scholar of the First Sin, uh, enemy positions have been changed. There's more enemies. Enemies are tougher. Um, there's some people who really dislike this version of the game because they say it was made purposely just to annoy the fuck out of you. Like, it's not even about challenge. It's just about annoyance levels. Great. Because I'm sure that people will love that. <laughs> I'm sure that people will absolutely love that, that I get frustrated as hell, right? So that's number one. Um, number two, in this playthrough, I pledge not to over-abuse lightning spears. I mean, I can't anyway, because they nerfed them, right? 
but I really want to do a different kind of build. I do. I think I'm going to do a more, a more melee build. I've had a few suggestions of things that I should do. One being that I should do a dual wielding power stance build for this game playthrough. Um, because apparently it's unique to Dark Souls 2. It's apparently really fun to have two of the same weapon and be able to do like these double-handed attacks on enemies. But I've also heard it's very different because you have no defense. You can't block. So you have to roll and dodge almost like Bloodborne. It becomes like you're dodging constantly and then trying to find these double-handing attacks, right? So we'll see. I don't know. I mean, I might do that. It sounds That actually sounds pretty intriguing to me because I had never really played Dark Souls like that before. Um, and I'd like to see how that turns out. So maybe that's what I'll go for. I've also had some good suggestions. People said that maces and rapiers are incredibly overpowered in Dark Souls 2. And I've never played with a mace or a rapier. So, well, actually, I take that back. I think in my original run of Dark Souls 1, I actually did use a mace. But apparently, yeah, mace and rapier is really fucking good. Um, so I may do that. I may try that. Try a mace or rapier and focus in on those classes and see, you know, how it works out. So I guess we'll find out as I play through the game, you know, what I want to do. But definitely, I'm not going to be doing magic spam. I did that the first time. I get it. I did it. I saw it. Time to do something completely different. Uh, okay. So, also, a lot of people are questioning, well, will Phil summon during this playthrough? Not if I can help it. As you know, when I play the Dark Souls games, I typically try not to. All right? I try to beat everything legitimately. Um, you know, there's a few things I didn't. Like, for example, in my first run, I could not beat the Mirror Knight. And I ended up having to summon to kill the Mirror Knight and progress with the game. Um... I'm hoping to be able to legitimately beat every boss this time around. I don't know if I will, but let's see. I'm going to give it a good, honest try. <clears throat> Some other key differences between this and the original playthrough. Uh, the game runs at 60 frames per second now, and the graphics apparently have been improved on the PS4. I've never played a Dark Souls game in 60 frames per second, so I have no idea how this will affect my gameplay. I'm almost thinking it'll make the game easier. Because, you know, one of the most challenging things about a game... Like, Dark Souls is that if you get hit once or twice, you're dead. But if you have 60 frames, that's double the frames to see and react to enemy actions. It may make the game easier, in my opinion. Let's talk again about online capability. As I said, I may summon, I don't know. Maybe I'll do PvP at some point. It doesn't really... PvP is, is its own animal. It doesn't really need to be done in a Dark Souls playthrough. But I may still explore it. I remember in my original Dark Souls 2 run, I did do a little bit of PvP. Now, what about... Invasions, alright. Folks, the bottom line is, I want to play this game and have fun with it. Uh, it's already going to be difficult enough, being that it's supposed to be like a master level run of the game. And I am re-experiencing it again uh, as a different build and all of this. The last thing I want is constantly, every five fucking seconds, someone invading my game. And you know the idiots are going to try to do this. Alright, you just know it. Um, so, we'll see what happens. I want to play it by ear. And I want to play it legitimately, and I'll leave everything as is, alright? I will. I won't touch it. I'll la leave everything on, on default, settings and everything. But the bottom line is, if some asshole keeps invading, if I keep constantly invasion, 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 okay? Um, <clears throat> then I'm probably not going to play it online. I'm, I'm just being honest here. I want to play through the game and have fun and, and, be, and you know... Be challenged by the game, not challenged by assholes who are fucking stream sniping me and invading me constantly. All right. So, yes, that's the fo that's the, the 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 truth of the matter, folks. If I have to, I'll go offline, but I'm gonna leave it on to start, and we'll play it by ear, and we'll see how it goes. Now, another thing, another thing that people have been asking me about. Okay, will I be doing all of the DLCs? Well. Here's the thing, in Scholar of the First Sin, all of the DLCs are built into the game. They don't even, they don't even play like DLCs, it's like they're all in there now, alright? Um, <clears throat> so that being said, um, will I do them? Maybe. I remember that some, one or two of them was really good, and I hated two of them. I think there's four of them, right? I remember there was one I thought was really ingenious, really well done, a whole giant new area. And then I remember there was one that I absolutely thought was terrible. It was just a small, confined area and just annoying as fuck. So, oh, there's three of them? Okay. So, we'll see. I'm not, let me put it this way. I'm not majorly concerned with completing every single DLC in the game. <clears throat> I'm laying down the law this time around for the Patron's Choice playthrough for July. It cannot be an RPG. It cannot be a visual novel. It cannot be a Japanese culture-centric game. It has to be something... That's less than 20 hours long. 
and is going to have more of, a, you know, at least an appeal to those who are there for fun gameplay, and not this kind of long-ass narrative-based shit. Alright? <clears throat> so there you go. It's that simple. I have to lay down the law. Because at this point, there's just too much of it. I mean, for two years, I've been doing Patriots Choice playthroughs. And it's the same thing every time. It's like, what the fuck, again? And, you know, I, I have to be honest here. There's some people who've wanted this, or they always say, I can't believe that this game didn't get nominated and voted on. You know what? I have to say this. That's your fault. Because Patron's Choice is based on your input. So if you are not pledging, if you are not nominating, and if you don't vote, then obviously it's going to keep being the same kind of, kind of game. You know what I mean? Uh, it's that simple. It's patron's choice in the hands of the patrons. So, the people who are pledging and supporting me want to see a certain style of game. That's why for two years, the patron's choice playthroughs have been the same kind of game. Alright? So, please, if you want to see something different, you gotta pledge. Five dollars or more this month. You gotta nominate. You gotta vote. I would love, I would absolutely love to do something completely different. <clears throat> but it just hasn't happened. As you know, next week I'm taking time off. I'm trying to recuperate, I'm trying to heal, I'm trying to rest, I'm trying to come back so I can come back fully refreshed for the rest of the year, alright? <clears throat> I need it. My throat's all fucked up and everything, okay? However, that means five days away, right? Five days away from streaming. And as you guys and gals know, with YouTube, which completely the bottom fell out of it this earlier this year, ad revenue plummeted, really it's live streaming, and the cheering, the subbing, the tipping, all that has become my life's blood. In fact, as I've told you guys, Twitch is now about 50% of my income. It is. Twitch has become massively more uh, important to me. Live streaming and the interaction that we get because of, you know, the, the, the difference in balance now. The difference of my streaming and everything. That being said... Um, I'm going to be away for five days. And because I'm going to be away for five days, that means there will be no subbing, tipping... We're cheering for five days. That's huge. Because five days away, of a, you know, a 30-day month, that's a good, you know, sixth of the month, and that's a big dip in income that I need to pay my bills. So, what I would ask is that while you're watching my Dark Souls 2 playthrough, right, and or anything else I'm streaming between now and the time that I'm off, um, please be aware that I am going to be away, and I do need, you know, whatever support you can lend, you know? Cheering, subbing, tipping helps me tremendously. If you could be maybe a little bit more generous during the next week since I'll be away for five days, I'd appreciate that, all right? Keep in mind, I'm not asking you to go out of your way and go crazy. I'm just saying be aware that if I have five days this month with no income, and I come back, and now I have a big dip in revenue, that just means there's less stuff I can do. Maybe I won't be able to cover every new release coming up in the next few months because I can't afford it, right? If you want to see me be able to cover all the hot new releases, I need your support. And it's funny because some people, well, Phil's going on vacation. I'm not going on vacation. Some people seem to be completely uh, not understanding what this time off is. It's not. It's not a vacation. You want to know what I'll be doing during time off? I'll be cleaning my house. <laughs> I'll be basically just driving around town, maybe getting a little bit of mileage on the car, getting some fresh air. I'm not going anywhere or spending any money. I don't have any money to spend. It's just me taking time away from the constant talking on stream, because listen to my voice. <clears throat> I barely have one. <clears throat> you know, I barely have one. I'm not sp going crazy, driving, you know, spending crazy money. I'm not going to any hotel. You know what I mean? I'm not eating out at an expensive restaurant. None of that's going to happen. I don't have the money to do it. So, I don't want people to think, oh, Phil's going on an expensive paid vacation. He's flying out somewhere and spending thousands of dollars, and he expects us to cheer and come back, and he comes back. No. It's just me staying away from the stream for a few days to recuperate. That's the whole point. It's time off. It's not a vacation. It's just time away. Excuse me. Excuse me again. I just finished my V8 energy drink, by the way. <clears throat> oh, God damn it. And of course, we got people bitching, which I knew would happen. I knew this was going to be an incredibly long set pre-stream session and people would bitch. Oh, well. Oh, well. My channel, my rules. I had a lot to talk about. And the more you bitch, maybe I'll just won't play. Maybe I'll just keep talking all day. How about that? <laughs> Derek, I see you're gonna you're planning to do a 50-bit cheer with a giant question. Probably not a smart thing to do right now when I'm about to start a playthrough because I can't answer it. I'm gonna be doing gameplay. Alright. Save that for later. 
jab, 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 jab. Oh, low kick combo, low kick combo, low kick combo, low kick combo, low kick combo. Oh, it's still hitting. Low kick combo, low kick combo, low kick combo. Fuck you, you suck. Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to god I wish I fucking was.